Welcome to the Learning to Read series, and this is a video teaching series teaching you how to read drum music. This lesson focuses on reading quarter notes and quarter rests. I'm going to be using the Sweet Quarter Note Exercises 1 beat sheet, so it would be helpful for you to print that out or be viewing it as we go over this lesson so you can follow along. Before I talk about how to read quarter notes and quarter rests, it's important that we talk a little bit about time signature, bar lines, and measures, because I'll be referencing those throughout the teaching. Take a look at number one on your sweet quarter note exercises one beat sheet. The very first thing that you see next to number one is a four with a four under it. That's called the time signature. And that's the time signature that we're going to focus on in this teaching and throughout the beginning teachings. The next thing you see is a little dot with a line. You actually see four of them. And those are the quarter notes, which we'll talk about in a little bit. After that, you have a vertical line, and that's called a bar line. And in between each of the bar lines, it's called a measure. So here's one measure, this would be another measure, and so on. Number one has four measures. After that, you see another quarter note, but then you see a little bird-looking thing, and that's the quarter rest. And again, we'll talk about that in a minute. Finally, if you go all the way to the end of number one, you're going to see uh, two little dots with a line and then a thicker line, and that's a repeat. So that's going to mean to repeat whatever we just played. And that's the basic terminology. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go into actually reading the music. In a 4-4 four, four time signature, there are four beats or four counts in each measure. And all that really means is you're going to be counting to four over and over again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And over and over again. Reading quarter notes and quarter rests is as simple as this. If there's a quarter note, that's the dot with the line coming out of it, you play. If there's a quarter rest, you don't play. You only count. Take a look at just the first measure. Now you see that you have four quarter notes. So when you count one, two, three, four, count one has a quarter note under it, so you're going to be playing. Count two has a quarter note. You'll be playing. Count three has a quarter note, so you'll be playing. And count four has a quarter note, so you'll be playing. I set up this metronome to count for us, so I'm going to let it go. Go ahead and count one time through four, and then play the first measure. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And that's all there is to it for the first measure. The second measure, you see under count one, we have a quarter note. Count two, we have a quarter rest. Count three, we have a quarter note. And count four, we have a quarter rest. So for count one, you'll play one. For count two, you'll just count. You're not going to play two. And count three, you play. Count four. You don't. I'm going to play just the second measure alone, along with the metronome. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. After that, the next two measures are quite simple. We have uh, another measure with all four quarter notes. So we play in one, two, three, and four. And then we have the final measure. We have a count, uh, a quarter note on one, a quarter note on two, a quarter note on three, and then a rest on four. After that rest on measure four, we have a repeat sign, the little dots with the two lines. And in this case, that means to go back to the beginning and play it over again. Before we do that, I want to talk about sticking. And sticking deals with which hand you use to hit a certain note. And in this case, we're going to start the line with our right hand and use what's called alternating sticking. That means you go right, left, right, left. So ma no matter what you played, if you just hit your right, the next hit is going to be with your left and then the next hit is going to be with the right, and then the next hit is going to be with the left. When we get to the repeat, when we have to play it again, since we started it and played it the first time starting with our right, the second time through, uh, I want to start it with the left. That way we don't build too much dependence on our right hand. We can build coordination with both hands. I'm going to play that all the way through, including the repeat, starting with the left the second time through and the right the first time through, and you can play that along with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So we've got the basics down. Let's go on to number two. Number two, you see in the first measure, we have a quarter note on count one. So when you say count one, you'll be playing. Count two, there's a rest. Count three, there's a quarter note. So you play and count four, there's a rest. Moving along to the second measure, you're going to see something that looks a little different. 
You have a quarter note on beat one. You have a quarter note on beat two. And on beat three, you have something that just looks like a, a horizontal line, like a dash. What that's called is a half rest. And that just means that you rest for two counts. So you'll see on count three, you're going to be resting. You're not going to play. And count four, you're going to be resting. You'll just count it, and you won't play. Let's play number two through together. And remember, the first time you play it, you're starting with your right hand. When you get to the repeat, you're going to start with your left hand the second time through. This one's a little different in that the last hit on measure four is your left hand. So you're going to have to hit two left hands in a row. So be prepared for that. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. 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 Number one. three can be a little tricky because it starts off with the quarter rest. So right when we begin, you'll count number one, but you won't play a number one. Uh, there are a lot of rests in this one on count number one, and for some reason that can be difficult for some people. Always look ahead so you know what's coming up. It's not a surprise. Let's try number three together. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Make sure on number three you remembered that the second time through you start with the left hand. On to number four. Let's try that one together. One, two, three, four. 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 One. Number five. Number five is tricky. There are a lot of quarter rests. Again, make sure that you're looking ahead so you're not surprised as to what's coming one, up. One, two, three, four. 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 Finally, we have number six. Be careful at the end with the repeat. You're going to have two lefts in a row again. Let's give it a try. One, two, three, four. 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 At this point, you should practice playing numbers one through six until you're comfortable with them. Now, remember, they might not be that difficult to play, but the purpose of this is to get comfortable and more fluent in reading the drum music. I'm going to play numbers one through six through at a faster tempo. Before you attempt playing it along with me, uh, practice it a bit until you're more comfortable with it. Number one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Six. One, 
and quarterettes. And within this lesson, you also learned a bit about the 4-4 time signature, bar lines, measures, a half rest, and the repeat sign. Practice that, take it in, get fluent with it, and keep drumming.